Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I remembered something over here. Yeah, I must have been too focused looking for the stuff in the sand that uh, noticed those bad boys over there. Also, we need to go back to Bowser's face, which has a couple of coins that I actually seen on video, but apparently my eyes were focused elsewhere or something like that. I don't know how I managed to miss these. I guess because I was looking for this shiny light, I don't know, but basically you see on top of one of those lanterns that are swinging down here. Uh-huh, on this left side. Oh no. Oh no. I can get this for extra coins. Why not? Why not? But anyway. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, I just wanna oop. Yes, I just wanna oop. <laughs> well, maybe I can make the jump from here. Here. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> Nope, that, that definitely is not going to work from there. Uh-uh, mm -mm. uh that's okay. Uh, that's why I got that moon for extra coins, just in case. <laughs> uh, okay, I should say the transparent moon, just in case. I wonder if I could get that, like, just by jumping down onto it from above. Like, from the upper... Oh, well, maybe I can't even get on top of the, the brow, no matter what. So maybe I just... I really need to do long jump this... Mm, yeah, I don't quite remember how I got those suckers before. I guess I will find out soon. <laughs> and with another flailing down over here, of course. Yeah, I think maybe I'll try looking down from above. And like, I mean, this probably can't be it, because that seems a little too dynamic. Probably more. Mm, I don't know. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can actually grab onto these chains, but which one of these can I actually reach to anyway? <laughs> and speaking of, how the poop are you supposed to escape this predicament now? That is the question. Well, aside from warping, of course. Like, is it possible to go... Ah, okay, so I was supposed to actually... Oh, you can walk on there, but not the higher portions. Got it! That must have been how I got it before, and then I just hop, skipped, and jumped across the lanterns over to there, and yeah. Alright, so... Actually, I didn't even need to use that, because the next spot is... is... is there! <laughs> too, too many icons just bunched up in one spot. Alright, so there's a two, and not the, of the bathroom variety. Uh, it's not... It's got, no, it can't be that. It's gotta be... Oh, I think it's something underneath, actually. Because, uh, yeah, this is like the shortcut pipe leading back to the beginning. So, maybe it's referring to that door dealio down below? I don't remember that being a thing, like opening that thing offhand. Uh, maybe I'll just go to the inner wall, <laughs> then kind of look for that X on the other side while I ponder the other one. Because yeah, the other one is... Actually, this is too low! Dang it! <laughs> uh, oh jeez. So I guess it's something up on this higher portion of roof then, or at least in this particular case, but... Alright, so... It's not the timer challenge, of course, it's impossible. Impossible, I say. Wait a second. Is it referring to that little ledge that's... Could be. Meow. Huh? Oh! Ho 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 ho! Bowser's treasure stash! Yes! Bowser Cashel. Treasure Vault, to be more specific, but details! <laughs> Alright. We shall leave the sparkly area. Looks like we could harvest more gold off the surfaces of things, but maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, I was, was I supposed to get here from the other side? Like, using... Is this something, like, purple coiny down there, then? <laughs> it certainly looks like there could be something purple coiny. I cannot get the camera to swing around for the life of me. 
And, okay, there are purples there. Good, good. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there's purples there too. How the poop do I get those though? <laughs> oh, oh, I know how to get them. I just realized you can you can get them with packs. So we go over here, turn the face to coins. Oh, 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 I say, oh, 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 mm. well, oh, I guess I could use my hat too. That would probably be the even smarter way to do it. <laughs> I don't know, some days I'm dumb. Actually, you know what I could do with this even? Aha! <laughs> I, like, I could still do that gauntlet up there to collect stuff, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and collect this last one. Oh, no, wait, 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 what am I doing with the Pokeo? Okay. Officially, all three. There we go. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be done. I think, I think. Right, anyway, let's see what this is. Oh, this is the thing that just leads me back and forth. You know, come to think it, I'm surprised that I didn't explore more of that side when I came through there before. So that must have been one of like the the major purple coin mist type areas. Then hmm, little coinages there. Okay, I have a little theory here. What if? To open up that door, I just need to kill the Stairface Ogre. <laughs> that would be pretty simple, if that's the case. Let's see. Bunk. Wow. The one thing I didn't shy. Ah, okay, so that door does indeed open. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. There's two. At least according to the marker, so... I'm just looking right off the bat where there could be secrets and stuff like that. It's obviously another Pokeo type area, but you know, where, where there's a Pokeo, there can be many secrets. As a matter of fact, I think there's actually something behind this. Let's see here. I'm gonna release, go down, release, down, 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 down. I was correct! There's something down there. <laughs> that, was, that was just an experiment, just to, just to show you that there's something down there. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's try and get down over and around with a nice curvature. Gently plop in there. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh! I had it! What the poop? I think it's because I was pressing forward, not down at that moment, and I did the, like a jumping motion which may release. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I need that key. Really, really need that key, if you don't mind. <laughs> so I just gotta, gotta keep going at this until I get a said key. Uh, I think I'm gonna go just like... Oh, well, I got it that time. Alright. Alright, that... Wow. It pops it all the way up at the top there, okay. So, now I guess we're, I guess you could say, home free-ish. Aside from the difficulty of escaping this wall of the predicament. Oh, there we go. That was actually pretty smooth. Alrighty. I guess I can just, yeah, just zip along through there then right away. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I bought I want to look around the other sides. Dump down and up the spinning tower. That was the one that I got the key for. And on top of the spinning tower, which is just a generic one. <laughs> uh, I guess I don't really need to show... I mean, I don't really need to do the traversing here, do I? Not really. I mean, there's these coins down here, but that's not really... Like, majorly difficult to get or anything like that. I mean, yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Although you can see there's all sorts of different paths to get through here, so I, I didn't just get lucky when I ended up at that one middle area there or anything like that. It was just like, I just centered to it and just, there's paths all the way up there. Alright, now I guess for the sake of showing you all the paths, I should probably do that Pokeo route where there was uh, three purple coins along it, or as well as the three purple coins below it. Which was... 
somewhere down on this side, uh, yes, uh, down over here, actually, as a matter of fact, I'll just go like, yee, like that, <laughs> not that, <laughs> uh, okay, so again, just for the sake of showing it all, we're gonna go rock the world of this place here, and improve our Pokéo practice, even though we really don't need to do this at all since I got the purples from the other side. That's a... get the coins that way, I guess. It's simple enough. Anyway, I just want to stay centered for a lot of these. Yeah, this is actually pretty... pretty simple. So maybe I didn't even need to show this. <laughs> That's okay. We showed it anyway, I guess. Second courtyard, let's go. And collect that potentially, maybe, perhaps, a final moon. Uh, actually, yeah, final moon. <laughs> There's also still purple coins to get and stuff like that, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a thing of exploration of all sorts of corners and crevices. Mm. Alright, so. Is there something one of these corner blocks now? Oh, there's a hole now. Stop that! <laughs> this was not here before! <laughs> of course it wasn't here before. It just, just comes, pops in there to mess with me. Poking the turret wall is a done. 100% moon completion! But we have a problem. We are not at 100% coin completion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna wander around the places aimlessly and see what I can find, I guess. Probably starting from like around there or something like that. Horns? Hmm! Decent amount of coins on that one. This is at the back left of, yeah, that place. How about the back right? Just to see here. Whoops, no, well, that's, well, I guess it's okay, but... <laughs> uh, no, not as rewarding. I'll do Oh, there's coin rings up there. That's not purple coin rings, but, you know, just something to grab, I suppose. Didn't know you could get a coin from that. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Whoa, 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 what? What? I did a full 360 around this roof, and I didn't see these here before. I'm sure they probably were here before, but, well, I got them now. Up oh, the horns of all the other Bowser heads on this place all contain just regular singular coins. Nothing as major as the other one at that upper left area. Ah! What the poop? Over here? The second courtyard type place? This is back where the... Oh, because the camera was flipped around. I never seen these over here. I got them now. Yes. Yes. And with that, it's 100% purple coin completion. And also, that means souvenir shop time. <laughs> I'm going to clear out the entirety of the purple coin shop just because... I have the moolah. I wonder why you don't get a lot of customers over here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I am ready to change clothes. Just a little bit of my headwear. Just a smidge. But also... One more for the entire body. It's more like the more relaxed wear instead of the warrior wear, I guess you could say. And kind of should probably decorate our Odyssey a little bit with stuff. Get the feng shui all in order. Delightful. And finally, yeah, the Jesus statue. You're welcome. Yay! Yay, I say. Yay! <laughs> And, yeah, new wear. And also, what do you, what the, do you have up? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, it's been a while since I've checked the regular place, so I could actually be a charging chuck. <laughs> so yeah, I guess, it, remember, as you collect more moons, you get to unlock more and more stuff, and oh yeah, the classic outfit. This is the colors 
of original Mario Brothers, not the, like the newer Mario Color dealios. Yeah, so mm, DK has never been a fan though. This is very expensive, but it, maybe it requires some great powers to do this sort of thing. Uh, even he doesn't know how it works. You can be Luigi as well. The L stands for winner. Yes, green means let's go. You can also be Dr. Mario as well uh, it, to boot with this, but well, but well, I'm kind of, I don't know, I, I actually I don't even need to save my coins at this point, do I? I could probably just buy a whole load of poop. <laughs> I wonder why it's barely used. Could it be that Waluigi has not had very many games? Probably. Waluigi's suit, ready <laughs> for turning the spotlight. That, that right there makes me wonder if they're planning a Waluigi game. Maybe, but I don't want to be one of those sorts of fans that make all sorts of wild speculation stuff, so... <laughs> it just sounds like it's, it's they're hinting at something. Doesn't it fit well? It doesn't fit well and kind of chafes. Uh, you can be Wario's. Oh, definitely, definitely Wash for sure. Oh, hmm. This would also be fitting for Bowser's Castle in a way if you think about it. Uh, you can actually wear Bowser's wedding gear. If you can believe it, yeah, you can actually buy that. <laughs> Not to mention, you can buy Peach's wedding gear to boot to wear. But this stuff is getting pretty expensive, but I think you know of a certain coin place to get lots of coins here very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be altered a bit from Mario's measurements to say the least. Yeah, gold Mario cap and the suit, definitely mega super shiny. And this is obviously a reference to Super Mario 64's green switch cap dealio, and yeah. You want to wrap yourself in nostalgia and then in aluminum foil. <laughs> musician hat, yeah, you can dress up as the uh, what the musicians at the festival when you do your dances along with them and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You got Super Mario Sunshine reference, uh-huh. And also the Sunshine outfit. It looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it? As a matter of fact... Maybe I'll buy that, because that's one thing that I didn't really use when I was <laughs> playing Super Mario Sunshine, because I hated that the shades darkened the entire screen. So I just kind of avoided that, but that doesn't really happen in this game. <laughs> so I, I, I can wear it here! <laughs> It's a little sturdy if I'm a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not gonna increase your health or anything like that, but it sure looks like it could. I guess you could use this if you're battling the dragon again to make yourself look extra medieval knighty. <laughs> Memento of some forgotten service. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Batting helmets. Yeah, you can actually be a baseball player as well on top of the uh, charging chucks dealios too, so I guess you can be a baseball boy in the Yoshi's Island series. <laughs> also be, yeah, brutal on top of that. <laughs> Smells of carrots and broken promises. <laughs> I love that dialogue. Yeah, there's a ton, ton of stuff that you can buy and wear, but it all requires a ton of coin grinding, so... So, that's like off-camera dealio stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and keep... I, 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 wonder, I wonder if Mario had a suit like this in one of the Mario Kart games, and I just never noticed, come to think of it. Hmm. Hmm. Another brutal outfit, of course. Yep. Except for the awesome saw blades and trampoline capability. <sighs> yeah. Should discount it, because it's not an accurate replica. <laughs> <laughs> or smartly, or even not dumbly. <laughs> and Harriet's, you can be her as well. Definitely do not want to blow yourself up for sure. And, yeah, well, it's not not quite... <laughs> a little, little rotted, but... Not... I mean, it, it's decent enough, I guess you could say. Spewart. Eh, well, yeah, I, I guess. Probably still not as bad as the Wario. But 
Mm, yeah, I, I guess, perhaps. I don't know, it seemed more like toxic than, I mean, like poison instead of finger painting, but anyway. <laughs> it could be one of the greatest conductors in history, or at least play one for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, these things, they just keep on going, and yes, you could even be a zombie to boot, complete with a hat, so that's really just the axe sticking out of your head, like one of those Halloween-type dealios that's, like, wrap around your head and whatnot, plus a zombie outfit <laughs> crosses the line between distressed and undead. <laughs> you can be Santa and bring cheer to all the worlds, or, you know, take moons from them like the Grinch would. Santa outfits? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe if we throw enough stuff at, like, throw fireballs at them, they'll transform into other things that, can, that they can use. I don't know. But you can also have an 8-bit dealio that's extremely, extremely expensive. <laughs> As expensive as the bone suit, and everything else past this point is stuff that you've already got. Basically, whatever you collect uh, will just be sorted over to the end. Like, see this over here, Sunshine Shades and Sunshine Outfit. If I quit this and then go back into the menu, it'll just be like, Woo! I'm sorting this all the way over to the far right side somewhere. See, it's not in with these anymore. It's now over in with this stuff, so yeah. So that's so it basically sorts everything that you don't already have to the left side where you want them, and the stuff that you already got to the other side where you wouldn't want them, which is pretty handy. All right, and with enough store cleaning and happily not darkening the entire area with sunglasses, we can now go back to the Odyssey and poop out all of our moons that we've collected into it to feed the gods of the moon chewing and then of course end off the part to boot <laughs> with all that shop talk it took kind of a kind of a while I gotta say <laughs> so with that I'm gonna end off the part here I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part when I am too cool for school or Something like that. Maybe I'll just be on vacation to the moon or something. That's, that's probably, probably more accurate.